Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. We're aboard Royal Caribbean's Allure to Sea. We have just arrived in Nassau, Bahamas. Our first port of call. So come on in, check it out. So guys, just figured I'd show you a little bit of the island there, Nassau, Bahamas. Quite a few ships here. I see Carnival Legend, I see the sunrises, the seashore. And I think over there was Anthems of the Sea, which is Royal Caribbean. So, and this is kind of, as far as I know, this has kind of been updated, the port area. Uh, we're thinking, should we get out and go check it out? I think we will. We don't have an excursion, but I think we'll at least maybe get out and go check out around the port area there. But first thing we want to do is let's go grab some breakfast. Uh, what do you think, Roberta? We're getting ready to go to main dining room for breakfast today. I've never seen a line like this. That's the front end of the line. And then I'll just show you the back, all the way back that way. Any cruise that we've ever been on, you usually can just walk right into the main breakfast, dining room. Yeah. So very busy this morning. Let's see what we're going to have. I'll just show you the menu quick, guys, if you are planning to come to the main dining. I don't think that is normal for that line to be like that i think it's just a one-off i've never noticed it before somebody leave me a comment if that's happened to you at breakfast we had to wait like 10 15 minutes at the main dining but here's a look at the menu so we got our breakfast i got an omelet i've got ham cheese spinach tomato i got a little side of hash we got the hash brown there potatoes jake is like really going to town there Bacon, uh, chocolate chip pancakes, yeah, and syrup. So we did have to wait a while in the line outside, but it worked out okay. And guys, I want to remind everybody: please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. And Roberta with the parfait. What'd you get? The over easy, over, over medium, easy, over easy, and some toast. Yeah. And we did get some orange juice. Oh, I wanted to point this out to a little fruit let's eat all right just coming out i thought breakfast was yeah, really good yeah. man the main dining room with it. so far if you haven't seen our other day's vlogs food has been good yeah. overall food has been good on this alertish alert to see so uh the food has been great in all everywhere we've gone yeah but tonight we have a big meal coming up in samba yeah. samba. Samba, samba samba grill specially special dining as i'm gonna jump on the elevator we'll be right back on after breakfast she just kind of wanted to look out there and show you beautiful views of nassau bahamas look in that and there right there guys that's a ship that we've kind of been interested in for a while anthem of the seas look at that you can go up in that like a, it's like a, a globe and i can see it's moving that is looks interesting. I wouldn't mind trying that class of ships, but you can see MSC is here today. We got carnival. there's a con there's actually two carnival ships. There's another one behind it. Uh, yeah. and I don't even know if there's anything in front of us. I haven't gotten that far up, but look at how beautiful the sun is up now. It's warming. Guys, I think we may get out just to maybe check out kind of the port area there yeah. we're gonna do a ship tour for a separate vlog now so we're gonna take a little time out for you guys it's not gonna be anything it'll be two seconds because you're gonna see what we're doing next but I did want to let everybody know to make sure you stay tuned to the end of our daily vlogs because there will be a full tour of Royal Caribbean's alert to seas oasis class ship so in two seconds vlog time we'll be right back before we go down i guess to nassau mm -hmm. roberta said uh nothing like a little more breakfast so we stopped and got some yeah. avocado toast these are amazingly awesome mm -hmm. we get them on uh all the time when we're on royal but you're gonna find them in the uh wind jammer how are they roberta mm. awesome love it I figured we'd stop guys before we go out we are gonna go out to nassau we decided yeah let's go at least check out the port area um, but we stopped here at Vitality again uh, just to grab a snack. Banana, peanut butter, whole milk protein, banana bread, strawberry banana, whole milk protein. We love this. These are awesome. And oh yeah, Roberto, let me see. I don't think we should have done our regular vlog. Jake found a duck. Yeah, we're doing a ship tour. So now we're back to our regular vlogging for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah. 
found that uh, as we were doing our ship tour. So our first Shout Valentine's out. duck. Yeah. Uh, SNS Madison. SNS Madison. Found your duck, kid. We're just getting grabbing some of our. Oh, when you get out on a port, <laughs> especially here uh, in Nassau, Coco Key, you don't need it, but uh, on Nassau or any any port you're going to, make sure you have proper documentation. You absolutely have to have your C card to get back onto the ship. But for us, uh, we take our passports. God forbid something happens to you out here, you're going to need an American passport to get back to the country, right? To back to the United States. So my suggestion, you know, people say take a picture of it. A picture of a passport is not an official document. You need to actually have it physically on you. Now, you got to do what you think is right for your family or for you personally, for us. We definitely take our passports. But we're trying to figure out what this thing is. I think it's a gorilla. Jake's saying gorilla. Could be. But it looks like he's got like ears. It looks it kind of... Yeah. Maybe. Somebody leave me a comment. What is this? Just wanted to show you these beautiful elevators too. Gorgeous, man. As you can see as you go down, it's really nice. Going down. So I think this is where we're gonna come out. We're on three. Let's go. Just, oh yes, yeah, so guys, if you are coming out, right here, three gangway. Let's go. But right, this is nice. This is fairly new within the last, as far as I know, we were here not that long ago and it, this is like a lot of construction going on here on the pier, so. If you haven't been here in a while, I'm going to say my first impression, at least, of the pier area, it's it's nice. You, they can accommodate a lot of ships. But look at this yacht here, man. Look at this thing. Seven seas. Wow. That's gorgeous. If you're in an excursion, you're going to come down here. You're going to find all your information about excursions. They're probably gone by now. It's like noon. We waited to get off the ship. But you'll have different zones. They'll have... Uh, the people here that will guide you and help you say hey go here for this ex excursion go here it's very organized from the past that i've seen so you don't have to really worry too much about that but i'm interested in checking out this port area here i think there's some shopping over there from what i heard and it's fairly new now which will be nice i just wanted to show you the water here is gorgeous color beautiful turquoise hey guys speaking of maravilla MSC Maravilla. We have a full series of vlogs. Hey, Roberta's just intrigued by the beautiful fish here, like but <laughs> MSC Maravilla, we've cruised on that ship before. We went to their private island. I have all of the, I have a full tour of that ship and I have all of the days that we spent on it. If you want to learn more about the Maravilla, you may be surprised too what we thought about that ship. Anyway, there's the Anthem of the Seas. We have the seashore. We have Carnival Legend, and I think there was the Liberty. Was it Carnival Liberty around the other side as well? So, wow, you can really accommodate a lot of cruise ships here. And then, of course, let's take a better look over at the Allure as we walk across here. This is nice stuff just to look at, isn't it? I mean, not a lot to talk about except just how beautiful it is. Man, do I love cruising. I feel so happy being with my family enjoying and making vlogs for all you guys please take a moment subscribe to meddling world if you haven't yet you guys think i like cruise ships or not i'm just showing all cruise ships well, we talked to a few friends in a way oh yeah we get all kinds of information yeah. we love to talk people hey how you doing and everything it's, yeah. it's friendly for i'll tell you that much yeah. oh they also do have i've seen uh little shuttle yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see them lined up, so that probably depends on a cruise line, maybe. But they do have assistance if needed. Yes. Um, and these, I think, are more private. Yeah, local. Uh, not affiliated, as far as I know. This way to the world-famous straw market. I think that's what's here at the port, maybe? So I saw this big, like beautiful digital screen from the ship i could see that all the way from our ship which is there 
And oh, that's so nice. That's the Atlantis there. It's showing. So this, so far right here, I mean, this is definitely, there's no issue here. No. There's no kind of a safety issue here at all, unless, you know, you walk too far and you fall in. But there's no, this is very secured area. Yeah, it looks like just, looks like they're just looking at seat pass cards. Now we're kind of getting into it. So somebody was saying the straw market is all kind of part of this port area. Uh, but this is not, you can tell this is all nice and no. This is beautiful here. Are you kidding me? You guys are seeing it. As I'm showing it to you. This must be the nice straw market area. I definitely had so far at this point, I feel totally safe. I feel secure. I feel happy. So let's go check out and see what's in this area. Just to kind of show you too, guys, they do have, this is like all gated too. You can see the security here. Look at all this. This is cool, man. Jake's listening to the ocean. I wonder if you guys could hear the ocean in it. Let's see how good the mic works, guys. Hey, I'll help. Don't these ornaments look cool, man? So just to show you, you know, just kind of like, oh, this is really neat. She's got all different kind of Christmas ornaments. You got the vibes, the music. I love the vibes here, man. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling happy. I'm so happy we got off the ship at this point. I see these nice tropical drinks. Those look amazing. Shaved ice. Little snackies, they had ice creams. Did want to show you here, guys, that the cool. Thank you so much. The ice cocoa is the best cocoa. Yeah, see that one. This one's not nice. This is the way you want to get it. That way it's cold. These ones won't be cold. You don't want that one. You want the ice one. Here you go, guys. And you can get them right here. Bahama coconut, right here. Yeah, and a good quality drink. Made from scratch. It's really good. Oh yeah, all natural. Yeah. I'm also hearing that there's got to be some kind of dance party, but all of these buildings, they look fairly new. It's nice. It's definitely nice. I wanted to show you this. This is like an amphitheater uh, they have out here. This is really nice. This would be great to see some concerts. They got that nice grassy area. These ones don't even have tenants in them yet. Very nice. So yeah, you nice stage there, and you got the cover. People just kind of hanging out. You kind of walk through is one side, and then you can walk through the other side. So we like to do a little walk through just to see what they have. Uh, before we buy anything or if we even want to buy anything. It was just more or less checking it out today. Roberta says she wants to stop in here. This this says the official port shop. But this is one of the bigger shops. It's working together just to see. And my first impression of this is definitely nowhere nice. But it's almost like all those little shops combined into one. Oh, it's nice. It's, it's kind of like made, yeah. 39. All kinds of neat stuff. Let's just do a little walking around in here. Show you guys some of the different things you'd be able to find. But like I said, it's kind of like all those ones outside. They sell a lot of these different things there. And then in here, you, know, you can get bags, you can get shirts, you can get jewelry. You can get the rum cake kinds of cool stuff. But this is cigars, chocolates, and wines. Red Bull ginger shot. Are you kidding me with that? Look at that. Oh, these look good. <laughs> look at 
Look at all this stuff. Roberta. Yeah. Roberta's happy looking at these candies. It's a nice shop too. Seven dollars. Very nice shop. You making espressos over here, I think. Oh, she's just making th all the different drinks up there. Look at that. Chocolate drinks. Chocolatini. Very clean, very nice. Oh, that's beautiful up there. I'm gonna go highlight the name of this shop. I like this shop. I definitely like this shop. And of course, Bahamian rum. You're looking for your beer. Your rum. because that a little bit of everything i believe this is officially called the straw market i'm assuming so this is the straw market of course uh we give you information we bring you on the adventure we show you fun but it all comes down to what you want to do but maybe not an excursion so much and you just want to get off the ship just ah, let's get off for a minute let's just enjoy uh the port area here definitely uh for us thumbs up tortuga rum back in my earlier days, I bought Tortuga rum. I think I bought Tortuga. I think I might have been in uh, Grand Caymans. Way back though, way back. I don't drink alcohol anymore, so this was probably back in the 90s when I bought this. It was good. Back in, very organized to come back in. Making sure to enter this area, you, you uh, need to be a passenger on one of the ships that is here in port. Oh, I didn't notice that nice, beautiful shot of the atlantis resort roberta jake do you think we'll ever go there yeah Hopefully. do you think we should vlog that at some time yeah. or should we do a cruise here and do a um trip an excursion that's the word i'm looking for yeah. oh you want to like stay and yeah. enjoy it yeah. perhaps we'll put it on our list yeah. and guys remember as the channel grows bigger opportunity you know, at first what we do a lot of Disney Universal yeah. then we started doing a smaller ship yeah. so you guys got to remember as we grow we get more subs we uh, get more views and that's what creates the channel and allows us to do more and more and more so I want to thank every single person who has subscribed to Meddling World and every single person who's watched it Maybe you uh, watched it several times, but you haven't hit the button. Guys, that is the biggest compliment you could give us is to subscribe to Meddling World. We're heading back on Allure. Let's do it. We just got back on a ship. Very easy. Get back on. Have all those documents I asked you about. I do want to uh, point out that uh, to make sure that you understood what I was saying before where you need your passport or license. When you come back, technically all you do need is the C pass. But for some reason, if something happened, if you did have your photo ID, say you lost your C pass, if you had your um, passport, or if you're traveling with license, if you can show them that, then they can verify you are a passenger. So, you know, my advice is to do it that way. But anyway, time for some hot dogs so they have some sausages i think they have a chicken sausage so they do have some other options but i've never had just a regular hot dog uh and then of course the coleslaw i think they have potato salad too guys that's one of them oh okay so the hot dogs are good man like i've had them on several of the other ships and you know listen the other the other ones i had uh, these ones i think were my favorite so far that i had i don't know maybe i was really hungry but 
Although I've never had just the, the classic hot dog. And then I just, I didn't use like mustard and ketchup. I just put the onions and the sauerkraut. And I had it on like a, it's like an everything bun almost. It had all kinds of different seeds on it and stuff. It was good. Coleslaw was good. Potato salad was good. Everybody agreed. So, uh, let's see. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do next. I think there was a parade coming up. Uh, don't know exactly what it's about. We're thinking about maybe trying to parade and then maybe just hanging out at the deck a little bit before dinner. So let's do it. So we're trying to wait for this parade. I'm assuming the parade must come down this way and probably here. So I think we'll go down this side and see if we can find a seat and watch this parade. I figured I'd join Jake. This is a meat lover's pizza and I got a cheese and uh, Roberta went to grab some beverage. She's already told me, Jake, guys, go easy, because we're going to the Brazil Grill tonight, so we gotta not overindulge, but this is just a little snack. We still got, I think we got like at least a few hours before that. It's worth 350 million. Uh, a guy was talking to me. We just looked it up. So that is confirmed. Steven Spielberg's yacht here at Nassau. Can you believe it? So cool. We found another duck up here at the pool deck. This one looks like they might have made it. This thing's cool. I like that. Take a picture with me. Post on Facebook. Original cruising ducks. There you have it. Pennsylvania. Well, Meddling World found one of your ducks, guys. Awesome. Something we always like to do on Meddling World, guys, keep you posted for the last minute pier runners. As you'll see, it is 4.30. Gangway up 4.30. Officially 4.30. Ship time. Still people coming back. So, right up to the last minute. Look at that it back on now 5 p.m 30 minutes past couple more people coming back can you believe it so yes very late very late but they waited they're lucky or else uh hope you have your passport everybody clapping everybody clapping happy that they made it back. Everybody here watching this show. That might have done it. Maybe that was the last two. I think so. There you have it, actually. 
as those people boarded the ship, Roberta, yes. captain came on and said, okay. It's time to go. And we were waiting on two passengers. They finally have arrived back. Uh, I can show nice. you the time too. I mean, this just happened. I just turned the camera back on. So they were 32 minutes past 4.30. So. Yeah, so that was very nice of the captain to wait. Oh yeah, he did wait for them, which yeah. I'm sure they're very thankful for. But we don't know. They might have had an emergency. They might have been on yeah, an excursion yeah. booked through uh, Royal. Royal. Remember, so if you are know. booked on an excursion through Royal, if you didn't get back in time, they will find you transportation and they'll yes. do whatever they need to do. But that's up to the captain's discretion and pretty nice captain. Yeah. All right, so Roberta says, what do you want to do right now, Roberta, before dinner time? So I, you know, remember our ducks? The ducks that we got last cruise ship. Yeah. So I forgot the tags. <laughs> So okay. I am trying to go to the craft right now and make make the tags so we can actually put them. So it's gonna be second cruise for one of the ducks and third cruise for the other duck. Let's do it. Let's go check it out. I think the art area is over there near uh, some of the kids clubs. I'll be able to show you some of that actually while we go over there a little bit. And of course on the cruise tour I get a little bit more uh, information on it and a little bit more in depth which will be out at the end of these vlogs. Full cruise tour. So here we are on 14 uh, forward. Roberta's informing we still have about five minutes before we can go in and do the open art, I guess. But there's like a sun deck up here in the after the ship that I tried to get to earlier, but I couldn't get access. It was closed at that time. So it's kind of like little secret passages and i love doing this so you just follow all these little cool signs as we come around this way and down the hall let's see straight ahead so the last time we came here the door wouldn't open ah it's open now it's open now so let's go and have a look oh this is beautiful this is a great way actually if you know, I just thought of something during a sail away party. If you want a quieter area, I bet you you can't hear. I, I'm not going to say you can't hear music because I've never been up this far. But, oh, this is beautiful, guys. This access here. Right up there, actually, the solarium above us. Of course, the Atlantis. Wind's going to pick up the closer I get, so. Don't hear me too good. Roberta's saying she wants to. Go there, stay, vlog it. I think we will at some point, we'll go over there. Let's take a walk around though, see what else. Definitely want to give you the full effect here. Yeah, as Roberta's saying, it's very windy up here. Just trying to talk as close as I can to the camera and just kind of just show you out. The Bahamas there, Nassau. And I bet you on this side we'll have a nice view. Maybe there's a few of those ships still uh, over on the dock. Let's go over that side and have a look. Nice shot there, guys. We still have the uh, MSC Meraviglia in there. And of course, still here on the alert. But there's another nice shot of Spielberg Seven Seas yacht right there. Looks like everything's kind of covered up in it. I don't think he's using it right now. Probably just here. we found this glad i was able to come out here and share this with you guys very cool all right now let's go catch up with roberta and jake for art class like i said good chance for us to have a look here uh 14 forward the uh adventure ocean area so this is kind of like this is kind of like a craft area as well i don't think this is where they're doing the drawing though oh this is the adventure ocean theater they do family movies in here so if you see that on your uh cruise compass this is where it is and i believe where we're going is over there but i do you know while we're here little play area there over here is like the 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 youngest kids this one i think is six months to three so that's where you'll find this uh royal babies and tots 
Don't quote me on it, but I believe this one is, um, does have a fee. The other kids' clubs are all complimentary, included with your cruise fare, so. And Valentine's Day today, so you can see all the decorations up. Here's the Aquanauts, the Science Lab, Voyagers. So, Roberta, oh, Imagination Studio, I think that's where it is. Yep, they're in there. But before we go in, let's just spin around here quick. Here's the Aquanauts, that's three to five. You'll find three to five year olds, but they're nice. I mean, they're all cool inside there. Let me uh, do a quick walk on the other side. I'll show you that. And then over on this side, the uh, Adventure Science Lab. So that's where you do your science projects there. The Voyagers, nine to 11. And the Explorers, six to eight. So all these different areas. So. There you have it. Let me just show you hours of operation. Okay, so here you go. When it's days at seas, you can see that there are some breaks in between. And then port days. So you will see that at night too, after 10 to 1, there is a charge as well. So, good information. Now, let's join Roberta and Jake. Roberta and Jake. Roberta making some, as she was saying, some tags, I think, for the ducks that she wants to give out. And just kind of free art in here. Just doing all kinds of fun stuff. And they do have a crew member that can assist. So Roberta and Jake still working on their art. I figured I'd go down, start getting ready for dinner, and then they'll come join me. Um, and we'll show you what they make. But I realize that this is, uh, this is called Ocean Play. So that is actually can go on with your family anytime and play the other kids clubs once after the open house on the first day of your cruise then it's strictly just the kids you can't go in with them and hang out with that very convenient that you can still go in there with your kids anytime just to play around i really like that royals done that i don't know if i've noticed that on other cruise lines i don't think i noticed that on disney definitely didn't notice that on msc could be there but that's pretty cool. I like that you're able to do that because sometimes kids, they want to be with their parents. Maybe they don't want to be alone. Good way to introduce them to it. So I think that's a really good idea. So we, we brought some ducks with us, some uh, previous cruises we went on. And as you can see here, actually, if you find out, you can tell them Meddling World's putting it on uh, Allura to seize if you want to scan that. Um, and Roberta made these tags. This is what she made. Because I forgot. Uh, so. Meddling World YouTube. Yeah. She put Happy Valentine's Day because, again, Valentine's Day, and this is the date of our cruises. So and then we're going to kind of pass them around. Allure to see. So if you find any of these, uh, leave us a comment or send us something. Uh, so this one is the third cruise. This, this one, one is yeah. Third. One. That's the Serenade of the Sea. Serenade. And there was a Mariner. Mariner and now a Lure. So uh, I think it's kind of cool to keep passing them on. So if anybody is watching and does find these, please give us a shout out on one of our vlogs. Uh, leave a comment on one of these uh, cruise videos that you found it. Let us know. Just decided we're going to hide these, Yeah. as I said, but... Let's play a little Meddling World. You know on Meddling World, you're on the adventure. Let's do a little game, guys. Let's go hide them. We'll show you where we're going to hide them, and then we'll sit back a little bit, and we'll see if somebody finds them. Yeah. We'll put it on the vlog. Let's go. That'd be fun, right? Let's go do that. Jake's thinking of a spot. Let's go Let's go find out. As I just bumped Jake in the head, and the camera went, woo. I think it's a good spot. All right, let's go find a spot, Jake. You probably can't see on the camera, but the duck is right there if you look where the flowers are there by the tail and you go up you can see the duck let's see how people walk by here and find out how long it takes oh, oh look 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 no not yet not yet thing is i don't i don't want to shut the camera off um because i don't want to miss it that's the thing so uh, yeah, as you can see, a few more people walking by. Look, look, we've got, we got a cut, we got one. She found it. She found the duck. That was pretty fun. It only took a minute. It only took it. Now our idea was we didn't want to hide it, so it's so difficult that you can't find it. Yeah. Uh, most of the ducks you find, they're kind of uh, out in the open, honestly. They're just yeah. kind of out in the open. 
So you don't have to look that hard. If you pass by one, you'll find it. Um, but that was pretty cool. So, yeah. That was fun. I like that, yeah. yeah. Almost dinner time. Yeah. Uh, I think, oh, geez, I don't even think I mentioned, I think this is the Aqua Show we're going to try to go to tonight. tonight yeah. We're going to try to get to it. Uh, yeah. If we do, we'll show you some clips of it. And if we don't go to the Aqua Show, we're going to be doing something else. I'll tell you that right now. All right, we got one more. This time we're going to do a little different. I'm yeah. going to go kind of far away. Because yeah. she saw us right away, <laughs> which is fine. It's fun. It's just for fun. But I don't want the next duck. I don't want them to know. Because I just want them to find it on their own. But guys, I wanted to mention I've been drinking the, the included coffee. This is the one that comes with your cruise fare. It's actually not that bad. All right, let's go hide a duck. All right, guys. This time I'm trying to be far back a little bit. We'll have a little music entertainment. So we're gonna put it on that windowsill. So I think I'm far enough away that nobody will notice that I'm recording it. Let's see, oh, 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 we got a couple people walk by, nothing yet, let's see. Oh yes, look at how quick that was. Oh, we got it, let's not say anything, let's just watch. Hopefully they won't notice us. Oh, a little kid got it, I'm so happy. Oh, she's so happy, look at her. That's so cool, guys. I'm gonna turn away a little bit because I don't want them to know that it was me. There she goes. She's so happy she found a duck. And look, she's all pink in her Valentine's. Oh, that's awesome. Look at everybody's happy for the kid. Oh, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs up for the kid that found the duck. Yeah, that was fast. That was awesome. Hey, ready for dinner? wait a minute. What should everybody do right now? Subscribe to Medley World. We go on the adventure. We have fun. And we give you all the information. Plus, I am really starting to like hiding ducks. Yeah, I like that. We're going to have to do a couple of these every yeah. cruise. Yeah. That kid was happy. Yeah. It took a right. second. Yeah. It was a second. Well, we figured we got, what, about a half an hour before dinner? Yeah. Uh, Let's take the Rising Tide Bar because it's gonna, well, it's gonna drop us off up on Central Park, which is the eighth uh, deck. But uh, dinner is actually up by the uh, solarium, but let's take a ride up. We haven't been able to really show you this. They have some awesome mocktails here. I'll probably get, we'll probably get a couple of these to enjoy on the ride up. Let's do it. So we've already reviewed this one a couple times uh, during our vlogs here. Which it's good. It's it, it's a good drink, but I haven't tried the Shirley Ginger. Uh, let me let me remind myself actually. What was in it? I think it said orange juice, ginger ale. So we got grenadine, we got orange juice, lime juice, and ginger ale. So a regular Shirley Ch Temple, as far as I know, is just ginger ale and grenadine. So this one has a little bit extra to it. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Shirley Ginger. Very smooth, refreshing. Um, I would say there's not a ton of like carbonation to it, so it, it's got like a nice fruity flavor. But I want to show you my favorite I've had so far. Has definitely been this tropical crush. <laughs> so we came to the zero proof. Thank you. I suggest this one. Now it does come with the uh, Red Bull in it. Um, yeah, I guess you could modify it. If you don't want the sugar one, maybe you could ask for a sugar-free, but it's the Red Bull Yellow, I think, which makes it tropical, so pretty good. I think the only one we haven't tried yet for Bird and Jake is the Strawberry Limeade. Uh, maybe Roberta will try that one at some point. Yeah, maybe. It's starting to go up, you can see. It's fun, man. It's... It's just something relaxing and cool to do. I'm loving all the nice red out there for Valentine's Day, huh? And now you can see we're almost, that's where we're gonna walk out in a minute, but yeah, we're up here at the Central Park. All right, now uh, let's get over to Samba Grill and enjoy a Brazil barbecue on Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, 
It's a little stroll through Central Park on our way. Guys, it took from the time that we started to um, ascend yeah. eight minutes. Eight minutes. So the, the whole experience, you kind of sit on the bottom for a little while, yeah. hanging out, relaxing, and then you go up, but it only took about eight minutes. Eight minutes. Nice live music tonight out here. We got a sax, keyboard. Very, very nice on a Valentine's romantic guys out here. Beautiful. Getting ready to go into the Samba Grill. As we just got in, we're still kind of waiting for a table, but I figure I'd show you how it works. Oh my gosh. Brigadero. Yes, I already feel like I'm in Brazil. Very traditional Brazil flan. Also traditional Brazilian dessert. Come around this side. Now this is the buffet side. Uh, you're gonna see the real stuff once we get to sit down where they bring out the meats. So you have some different fruit. It's saying passion fruit. That needs to be replenished. And then I'm gonna start down there. We'll work our way around. So we do have the Caesar salads, uh, shrimp cocktail. This stuff you just come up and grab and you can eat as much as you want. Potato salad here baby mozzarella, uh, cherry tomatoes, ba basil, a little bit of the beef and cucumber salad, Brazilian coleslaw, uh, chicken salad, right there. Moving right down. Part of palms, very good, very traditional Brazilian food. You got some black olives. It's like just like some peppers and things there. You got asparagus. Kind of repeating what was there. Tuna salad. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Uh, that is a grilled beef with mixed bean salad. Uh, yes. Calamari and pepper salad. And then just some cold cuts here. Some cold cuts here. Awesome. You got your red. Red means? I am good for now. I am good for now. Yeah. Green. Green it is. I'm ready to Bring eat. it. Bring it. Because <laughs> yeah. what happens is it's kind of a combination. So you go up and you get all the things from the salad bar area that you want, as much as you want. And then they come by with all the different cuts of meat. Uh, and we have an expert with us, Roberta, from my wife from Rio de Janeiro. So uh, we'll leave that green. And as that food comes in, Roberta's going to be able to explain it to us and let us know. Yeah, well, in Brazil, it's like this, and then not too bad. So, uh, let's get it on. So, Jake, uh, he's starting with some shrimp cocktail, and he's got the tuna salad mm -hmm. uh, coming over. I got, I just got some typical uh, asparagus, but I did get the Brazilian coleslaw in a shrimp uh, cocktail, Jake. I mean, Roberta, heart of palms, and what's that? Uh, salpicão de frango, which is like a like a, our traditional like a chicken salad. All right, let's dig in. I don't really care for the Brazilian coleslaw. I asked her, Bertie, she said she's not exactly sure the difference, but it's spicy and a lot of vinegar, man. Didn't care for it. Roberta, how's the heart of palms? Put a little bit of salt. The salpicão is very good. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. So, so far so good on Roberta's. Yeah. Now, I wanted to say something. One thing I just want to come on, I'm going to give you advice right off the top. When we first sat down, he said, oh, please go enjoy the salad bar first. Now, the idea of that is so that you get full. You get full on a salad bar, so that's less meat you're going to consume. I would say maybe go up to the salad bar again. One thing or two things, then relax get those meats and then balance out go up and grab something to kind of have with the meat that's my um advice and let me ask roberta as she's eating do you agree with that roberta yeah roberta's saying yeah. yes jake how about the tuna how about the tuna the tuna was pretty good uh, uh, the, there are several different flavors in here and the shrimp was fresh and nice i like it Fried banana and panada, yuca and rice and corn cakes. 
pain de cache. Right? Okay, right so here. now we have a lot of traditional. We have the pain de cache, Roberta, the cheese bread, yes. Yeah. We got eye peens here. Yeah, this one. We got eye peens. We've got. Uh, pastel. Pastel, he call them banana, but in Brazil they call pastelis. Yeah. Well, and, said it was the banana. Banana. Yeah, yeah. banana. And what are these here? I, they're probably croquettes, uh, but I didn't really hear what he said. How is it? <laughs> no. Roberta say not traditional. Mm -mm. More uh, cruise, cruise, <laughs> cruise way. <laughs> We're gonna try all this stuff right now. Jake, how's the pound de cage? The cheese on the inside, soft, crunchy, pretty nice on the outside. I like it. I'll give it an eight and a half. And Jake is the, uh, it's one of his favorite Brazilian dishes, his pound de cage. I'm going to try mine right now. Mm -mm. I'm going to explain why. Maybe I'll let Roberta explain why the pound de cage I don't think is good. But first me from living in this country. If I had never tried it before and I came in here and I just ate a piece of it, I'd be like, oh, that's good. Yes. But it's not really made properly uh, if you're talking about Brazil style. And Roberto will tell you why. So pão de queijo is going to be like, uh, like more like a, this one, it's, you can see it's like flat. The pão de queijo is going to be like a ball. It's going to be really crunchy outside, like cracking. And inside, this one is very doughy. It's normally very airy, like you have the cheese that is inside, but it's cooked with the dough and it's more like air inside, so it's good, yes, but not traditional. I think right now um, we're pretty good. I think we'll hold off and we'll wait for the meat. But I think the, between everything that came out, salpicon is very good and the banana also, I think that was the closest one to our tradition. All right, there you have it from the carioca herself. So they did bring out some sauces. So we're starting to realize, yes, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's like a hybrid, <laughs> uh, Americanized Brazilian grill, but we haven't gotten to meat yet. So we're getting our first, we have, we have the chicken with bacon and then we have sausage coming in. Yes, linguiça. So traditional Brazilian sausage, which is linguiça. Oh, oh yes, let's let him go ahead and get it, but uh, as he goes uh, and cuts it. Uh, and this is uh, this is pretty pretty traditional. Both please, sir. As you can see, brings it down, puts it on the plate. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you. And these these you use as they cut meat. You'll see this later as he cuts a slice of meat. You're gonna take that and you grab it and put it onto your plate. Uh, but aha. Uh -huh. Roberta, of course, the Brazilian that she is. Don't you have fechuada? This is supposed to be fechuada. And they did bring out white rice. Now, this is very traditional of Brazil, correct, Roberta? Yeah. Well, let's try a few of these things. Try a couple of this, and we'll let you know. Yeah. This is how you would do it. This is the picanha. This is the uh, Brazilian sliced meat. Uh, so you can see how you go ahead and get that. You guys get the idea now. Let's let Jake grab that. We'll all try a little bit of that picanha and I'll let you know. I wanted to show you this is the picanha and you can see the cut there. It's got that fat right it along the It looks like a edge. rainbow when you see it. And that is the special cut uh, Brazil picanha. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Let's try it together guys. Let's try it together. I'm going to put the camera out. I'm going to put the camera I think I can put it right there. I think that looks all right. Let me try a bite. Uh, yeah, right there looks good. Roberta's gonna hold it. Up. I've had much, much picanha, plenty of times. Now you don't need to eat the fat. You cut the fat off, or you can put a little bit on there. But I cut the fat off. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Now that. That's good. It's tender, but it still has such a nice full flavor of meat. It's a beautiful cut. If you ever get a chance, man, you have to try picanha. No, the picanha is very good, yeah. So far, 
the best that I had out of everything, for sure. Roberta, do you agree? Yes. Roberta says yes. <laughs> We're gonna eat a little bit of this, because uh, we have plates full, and then we'll come back and see what else we get. They did bring out a plate of vegetables. These are just, just vegetables. I mean, nothing special. It's like some mushroom and some zucchini, some celery. I just tried the squash, though. <laughs> the squash is really good. Let's do a little quick, uh, little update so far. The chicken, a little bit overcooked, good flavor. Definitely not, not linguisa. Said it was linguisa. I can tell you, I don't think it's linguisa. Bacanya, great. Uh, fishwada, whatever is not real fishwada, but does taste good. And the rice was nice. And Roberta says the sauce here was was good. Roberta, are you agreeing with everything I just said? Yes. Jake, do you agree? Yes. So far, this is Meddling World. We tell you the way it is. Next up, lamb and uh, filet mignon. Now uh, let's see what Jake thinks of the filet. He he just goes right in. He's got it's the big nice, fork. It's soft and it's uh, quite salty. It's like soft. Yeah, that's that sea salt they cook it with. Yeah. You like it? Mm-hmm. You do. It does look good. It tastes good. Too. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. So happy. Mm -hmm. Happy. All right. I'll try the lamb for you guys. Hang on. Got the lamb. It's like a little lamb chop. Let's try it. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Oh yeah, look at that. Falling off the bone, man. Lamb was good, and as you can see, the uh, uh, filet mignon, good. So the meats are coming out, and they, they are overall very good. <laughs> Guys, look at this plate of meat. I just got some skirt steak now. Uh, I'm trying to filet. I mean, we're just going to town, and we have Maselli here, uh, one of the head uh, waiters here, so we're going to kind of have a conversation about some of the different foods and the variations that are different from Brazil, and she's really loving the feedback. I don't even remember if I showed you the skirt steak that came in. I think I might have. I can't remember if I did or not, but that was great. That was my second favorite thing. I love the picanha, the skirt steak, and then the lamb, but now I got some beef ribs. Look at how tender this is. And Jake is just like, he's he's just going to crazy on the Pont du Cage, and he's enjoying all the food, all the meats. The meats have been awesome. Like the barbecue part, Roberta. And the barbecue has been awesome. The service here. Service is great. I think, it, I, you know, I would definitely recommend it, guys, because especially if you're not really used to Brazilian style and grill. Yes. It's really good. It is. I mean, you, you're, you're you're gonna really when enjoy we say it. No, it means it's not traditional. Right. When we're saying no, 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 it's not specifically traditional to Brazil. But of course, we're not in Brazil either. So, uh, Robert is full. <laughs> I'm full. But I had to get the pork loin. Beef rib was very tender. It's just I'm getting so full, guys. But as I'm you can see, full. Jake. He threw down a little bit more there. But he's ready for dessert. Um, one thing we gotta talk about dessert, not quite yet, but there's a traditional uh, Brazil, Brazilian dessert here that really isn't traditional anymore. I'll talk about it. I know that doesn't make sense, but you'll see when we get it. I'm just gonna try it and let you know how it is on the, on the port. Jake's gotta try to get a shot. Mango passion fruit mousse look at that jake enjoy that um the pork i did eat the pork oh there's a little bit left didn't typically uh care that much for the pork roberta help me out with this this is uh should be called poutine but we call it they're calling it flan so it probably is flan and maybe it's not poutine but i also grabbed this too roberta's gonna try that uh brigadero to see if it uh with the rum I want to see what it looks like if she cuts it open, actually. It's it's definitely not Brigadero. Brigadero is yeah, it looks like that's more like a inside. cake. Yeah. yeah so it's like a... It is what they say, it's though. A brigadero, they say, brigadero. Ah, maybe Roberta better go back and check on that for us. So that's not Poutine. That is flan, but that's what it says it is. Uh, Brazil, the, it, it's... It's basically kind of, it's, it's similar, but Poujine is a little bit more, it's got a different consistency. 
uh, and a, a little bit of a different t texture and taste. But that's fine. It's calling it flan. It is what it is. Found out about this. So uh, Roberta saying is a mispronunciation. So this is a traditional Brazil dessert, but it's not brigadeiro. What do you call it? Brigadeiro, which is a big brigadeiro. But the consistent of the brigadeiro, it's more like a cake. If anything, so there are, there are advertisements of rum cake, but the name in Portuguese they are putting as a brigadeiro, which should be brigadeirão. There's two different things in our country. So brigadeiro will be a small like the small balls that you have in parties, <laughs> chocolate <laughs> balls. This one is more like a cake. So in English is correct, Portuguese is not. So. So it does taste good. So if you can figure that all out, <laughs> there you have it. One last dessert we're trying. This is what, Roberta? This is mango passion fruit mousse. Oh, it's what Jake was having. How is it? I, I'm finishing it. Oh, how is it? This is amazing. It's the best one? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like, this is a Brazilian dessert. They actually write on it. This is the best of the night. You want to see me happy? That's Roberta's got a smile, but what did I do? I went and got some more flan. Well, let's speak. All right, we're gonna finish up. We'll talk about this once we get outside. This turned into a very long vlog, but we wanted to be detailed about the food here because it is a specialty <laughs> restaurant that costs extra for you guys. So it has to be, you know, if you're paying extra on a cruise, you know, you want it to be good. You want to really know what you're getting. So we'll. We'll process it and I'll let you know it was for, for us, I think it was like $44. For Jake, it was only 12 bucks because he's 12 and under, it was $12. Um, so, you know, I want to process it and think is it really worth the spend, you know, for us another $100 to come here? It is Valentine's, so I, you know, I can justify it with that, but let me think it through. Let me think it through. We'll, we'll discuss it and we'll come back and let you know what our final review and thoughts are. I think that the atmosphere was fun. I thought the quality of the beef especially was really good. A little bit of miss, um, I would say, communication really with some of the traditional dishes. It was good overall. I would say it's good to hang out and have a good time there with your family. I agree. Yes, I, like yeah. I agree heavily. There yeah. you have our review. Thumbs up. Especially the service. Service. service awesome. Awesome. Ocean Aria, Aqua Show, day three. This is the 1015 show. I uh, highly recommend you get reservations for this show if you can on the app. There's a standby queue that you can wait in that will open about 10 minutes before. What time is it, Roberta? 9.56. So there's still uh, 20 minutes until the show starts and you can start to see the theater. There are open seats. It's a, it's a popular show. It's a little cool tonight. Maybe it's not as many people, but I would definitely recommend uh, going ahead and getting a reservation. If not, you gotta wait in that standby queue.
Uh, yeah, but I don't want. But it's it, it's hard to compare because they all have the same the vibe and the traits. Well, I do have a list in my mind which ones I like the best, but I'm gonna save that. I don't even know if you can see because it's so hard. They all awesome. But I just want to talk about this one because this is the ship. But they are all awesome. Oh, they're all awesome. They are. Well, Roberta, one thing I want to point out: a lot of Brazilian. Yes. A yes. lot of Brazilian divers in there. I was reading yeah. before they went through the whole cast and yeah. the uh, the divers and stuff and yes. world champions. Yes. Most of everybody there was a champion, like pro am champion, uh, yeah. Olympics. Like really cool. This isn't just like some people diving and around they in the like pool. They're with Royal Hawaii too. A lot of them, yeah. Because yes. it's kind of neat. If you do go to the show, I know. Yeah, all right, you're sitting there, but read. The bios yeah. of some of these awesome uh, On performers. Show as well, and All of the yeah. entertainment, the big entertainment. I think we'll wrap it up now. We'll be in Coco Key tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. And last but not least, see ya!